Hey everyone, just regarding my last video, um, I just want to make it perfectly clear to people that what a generator can generate is exactly the same analogy as what your partnered output coils can also generate. There is no difference. Now I've done a couple of series, um, Electromagnetic Induction 101, okay, there's tons and tons and tons of trolls out there that try to deny the very, very, very basic concept of charge separation. But yet, right here in the generator, you see exactly that. You see exactly charge separation. Now, the analogy is that each permanent magnet here represents a coil, a partnered output coil. And each stator coil represents a partnered output coil as well. Okay, so you have a coil here and a coil there. Clementi Figura said exactly the same thing. Clementi Figura said, in studying the electric dynamo, unquote, and all he did was advance the technology just a little bit more. Partnered output coils are the same basic concept as an electric generator generator being in quotes because nothing is ever generated it's separated it's pumped from source the charge is the electron the electron is moved from its orbital <coughs> excuse me COVID's playing up again okay so the charge being the electron uh, is in its orbital it is pushed down the end of the wire to the terminals uh, 6.24 1224 I believe is the new figure something close to that um, times 10 to the 18th electrons is 1 volt okay so when you've got enough electrons enough charge then you have a voltage when you have a voltage you can have a current flow, but only if it's loaded. Now, it's pretty basic, pretty straightforward, okay? The electric generator that you see right there in front of you is a charge separation machine, is a charge pumping machine. All that we've done, all that's different, and people need to really stop and realize this, all we've done is we've made the electric generator all we've done is we've made the electric generator solid state. The analogy of motion comes directly from the input coil. Okay, so the rotation on the rotor there, so basically the magnet moving past the coil, cutting the coil at 90 degrees, that analogy is made by the input coil. Now when you have two coils together let's say we were going to use the analogy of an antenna when you have two coils in the form or two pieces of wire in the form of an antenna together you can transmit electromagnetic waves in between the two coils at a very 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 high efficiency Okay, the, the impedance of the coil is basically just the, or the impedance of the wire is basically just the DC resistance. There's no AC resist, resistance, no impedance effect in that regard. Simply because the um, XL and the XC are equal. Okay, one cancels the other out. So they're equal. Now the electric generator is extremely simple. I've done a series on it, so go and look on my YouTube channel. Look, honestly, those people that are looking, all of the content that you need is on my YouTube channel, okay? It's on the archive and web archive, and the forum will be back up and running hopefully soon. I am working on it. There's a few things I've got to sort out. Um, there's some restrictions and stuff in place at the moment, so I don't want to go into it too much, but uh, the forum will be back up and running. I am working on it. So all the information is there. You have all the information that you need. All you need to do is, is connect the dots, okay? Now, it's really, really important 
that you use the analogy of a generator okay because because current and voltage come from the copper conducting coil or the aluminium conducting coil or whatever coil that you want to use it's got to be obviously conducting and insulated um, now it, it's really 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 straightforward don't overcomplicate it keep it simple okay voltage in the form of electrons are separated from source they push down the wire okay extremely simple there's nothing complicated to that the change in time of a magnetic field does that now it's exactly the same analogy as rubbing cat fur in a glass rod you transfer electrons from one surface to another okay negative electrons end up going to a positive source okay where there's a, a lack of electrons it's considered a positive source so electrons will be transferred okay it's really really simple it's not hard partnered output coils are the same analogy as an electric generator I'll repeat it again an electric gener generator works exactly the same way as partnered output coils there's no difference the magnets representing partnered output coil 1 the stator coil representing partnered output coil 2 the input coil represents the rotation of the rotor okay so the input coil simulates the initial change in time it's not hard it's really 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 simple okay look people can people can build these machines if people were to sit down study what I've given you people can build these machines for less than the cost of a yearly power bill and then these machines would pretty much last a lifetime whoops okay so less less than the cost of a yearly power bill okay and you can build these machines and they'll pretty much last you a lifetime okay you only really need to replace something if something breaks okay you might have a MOSFET that might give up or something like that or you might have a spark gap that might give up or you might have a wheel on your on your frame that you roll this thing around in you might have to replace that so other than that these things pretty much will last a lifetime now when I say lifetime often that means 10 years to some companies which is pretty poor I mean longer than that I mean if you look after these machines if you build them properly you use good materials and all that sort of thing when you're building them they could last you 50 years easy easy 50 years um, again I want to repeat the electric generator is the closest analogy to partnered output coils I repeat again the stator coil represents one partnered output coil the magnet represents the second partnered output coil and the rotation of the shaft represents the input coil simulating in time the change of magnetic field okay now the reason that partnered output coils must always oppose each other is to pump current to pump voltage to pump the electron anytime you move the electron it's a form of current so any moving electron is a current it's the same okay it's the same as a river same as water flowing down a river it's a current so look I urge everybody think about this simply because it is simple don't overcomplicate it okay you, there's there's nothing complicated about this it's extremely simple if you study how a generator works then you will understand partnered output coils you just got to put the analogy together the voltage is a function of the magnitude of the B field the magnetic field changing in time okay it's Faraday's law so there's where the voltage comes from the current comes from opposing magnetic fields if you're able to hold the magnetic field high for a long period of time then more current can be pumped over a time period than what it would normally if you have a sine wave and you have an input coil driving an output coil it's a symmetrical device symmetrical machine okay so what you put in 
is going to be what you get out minus losses okay in a symmetrical machine it's always going to be below unity to get above unity you've got to go to asymmetry you've got to use asymmetry which basically means that you have your input coil which is not directly affected not directly opposed not directly force for force okay so one force in the positive direction one force in the negative direction okay one plus negative one they cancel out so if your input is not cancelled out okay so use that analogy if your input is not cancelled out then your input is not affected your input current won't go up as a function of the output it'll actually go down because remember in previous videos 1 plus negative 1 plus 1 equals 1 so partnered out output coil 1 positive direction partnered output coil 2 negative direction plus the rotation of the shaft which is asymmetry so we've got three forces which is asymmetry plus 1 equals 1 so we have a total unit of 1 left over whereas in conventional symmetrical EM devices we have nothing left over 1 plus negative 1 equals 0 nothing left over um, look it's really 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 simple people it's really simple really really simple if you can build a transformer you can build these machines okay I've said in the past you could do it for about twenty dollars it's true you could do it for about twenty dollars if, if you if you were to sit down and if you had some materials on hand you could build one of these machines for twenty dollars now again the key you've got to have partner output coil one and partner output coil two opposing each other if they don't oppose then you're wasting your time look at previous videos on my channel you will find out how to do that I've shown you how to do that okay so partner output coil one must oppose partner output coil two now when these two coils oppose one of these coils must assist your input okay again look for that because that's all over my channel as well use the analogy people it's right there in front of you it's cheap it's just how you understand things once you understand things properly this is a piece of cake it really is a piece of cake now anyone that, that has half a brain in their head knows that the light will light okay connected directly across the output coil the light will light when the magnet turns okay in a transformer it works the same way okay when the input coil changes its current in time then the output coil load will carry a current okay same analogy all right people I don't want to make this too long um, please 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 understand this it's simple you can do it it's really 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 simple there is nothing hard about this okay beware numpty club propaganda because they will tell you anything that they want to need to have to to convince you as otherwise this is extremely simple three coils using asymmetry okay get your your vector forces one plus negative one plus one equals one and you're on the right track okay now remember i just want to say last remember ohm's law as your voltage your output voltage goes up your output current goes up so by getting your output voltage up your total output in power also goes up your input stays the same not affected if anything your input goes down so remember that okay your output voltage is important best wishes everybody take care of yourself take care of your loved ones look after those close to you humanity will succeed if it wants to so do it